Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn about adding and subtracting the mixed fractions. Now, if you recollect our discussion on mixed fractions, we can write mixed fractions in two ways. One is we can write the mixed fraction as a whole part plus a proper fraction. So essentially, let us say that we take a mixed fraction in which we have 1, 1 by 2. So this is one part and a half of a fraction. This is a proper fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator. And then the other way to represent a mixed fraction is an improper fraction in which the numerator becomes greater than the denominator. So you can convert this whole part plus a proper fraction, mixed fraction, into an improper fraction by doing this multiplication and adding it. So we do it 2 times 1 plus 1 by 2 which is nothing but 3 by 2. So now this becomes our improper fraction. This is an improper fraction and this is mixed fraction. So now because we know that there are two forms to represent mixed fractions, that is mixed fraction and improper fractions, we can do our addition and subtraction in two possible ways. The first way is what we can consider is we can consider the whole parts separately and the proper fraction part separately that is we add or subtract the whole parts of the pair of fractions under consideration and then we treat the proper fraction parts like this one half or whatever it is and then we categorize whether they are like or unlike and then use the rules that we learned earlier for adding and subtracting the like and unlike fractions. So that is the first method and in the other method what we can do is we convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction like it is shown here in the form 3 by 2 and then simply we can do the addition and subtraction using the rules that we learned for adding and subtracting like and unlike fractions. So let us just solve some examples which will make these things very clearer. So what we need to do is we need to add, let me just write it over here, 2, 4 by 5 plus 3, 5 by 6. Now how we can do that? So there are two methods. So in the first method what we will do is method 1. In this method we are going to consider the whole parts and the fraction parts separately. So we can write this as 2 4 by 5. Essentially we can write it as 2 plus 4 by 5 plus 3 plus 5 by 6. Now we consider the, we will just separate the whole parts here. So we can write them as 2 plus 3. And then we consider these two parts separately. That is 4 by 5 plus 5 by 6. Now the addition of this is straightforward. 2 when added to 3 becomes 5. But now I have to add these two 4 by 5 and 5 by 6. Okay, so if I want to add this, I need to take the LCM because these are unlike fractions and then we convert the this to denominators into the same number. So we find out equivalent fractions and so basically what we are going to do is we are converting this unlike fractions to like fractions to make our job easier. So we know that the LCM of 5 and 6 is 30. So we just need to convert the first fraction 4 by 5 needs to be multiplied by 6 and then the other part is we have 5 by 6 so 5 by 6 so 6 needs to be multiplied by 5 and then when we simplify this this 5 remains as it is 4 times 6 is 24 and this becomes 30 plus 5 times 5 is 25 by 30 so what we get is 5 plus 24 plus 25 is nothing but 49 by 30 or the answer that we get is 549 by 30. Now this is one method. The other method is to convert these into improper fractions and do that. So let us convert 2 4 by 5 into an improper fraction. So it is, it is going to be 5 times 2 plus 4 by 5 which gives me 14 by 5 
and um, the other fraction 3 times 6 plus 5 by 6. So 3 times 6 is 18 and 18 plus 5 is 23 by 6. So now what we have is we have two fractions 14 by 5 and we have 23 by 6. So now again we have this unlike fractions and we need to convert them into like fractions. So what we do is we simply find out the LCM of the denominators and convert the denominators into LCM and we know that the LCM of 5 and 6 is 30 so what we are going to do is 14 by 5 into 6 by 6 so that we get 30 in the denominator plus 23 by 6 into 5 by 5 okay then 14 times 6 so 5 times 6 is 30 and 6 fours are 4, there are 2, 6 ones are 6 and 2, 84 by 30 plus in this case we have 23 times 5 so it is going to be 115 by 30. So what we can we just add 115 by 84 to get 194 uh, sorry 199. So what we get is 199 by 30. So if you see these two answers must be same. Now we can just try to uh, convert. So if I convert this into an improper fraction, this is what I should be getting. So uh, 30 multiplied by 5 is 150 plus 49 by 30. It gives me 199 by 30. So essentially we arrive at the same answer using both the methods that is method 1 and method 2. Now let us take the other example in which we subtract the fractions, mixed fractions. So in this case we have to subtract 4 2 by 5 minus 2 1 by 5. So I will take the simpler method in which we consider the fractions and the whole part separately minus I can write as 2 minus 1 by 5. This is the way it is. Now you might be confused at why we have this minus 2 minus 1 5. It is, it is because I can write this as 4 plus 2 by 5 okay, minus 1 minus of 2 plus 1 by 5. So when we simplify this basically when we remove this bracket so it's going to give us 4 plus 2 by 5 minus 2 minus 1 by 5. So essentially what we are going, what it says is we subtract the whole part from the whole part and the fraction part from the fraction part. So now we can write down the whole parts like this 4 minus 2 and then the other parts is 2 by 5 minus 1 by 5. Now 4 minus 2 is straightforward 2 that is we have subtracted the whole parts and since in this case we have like fractions so we simply need to subtract the numerators so we have 1 by 5 so what we get is 2 1 by 5 this is how we can subtract fractions now in this case